I'm so hammered right now. Like, you can see the shape I'm in. I ain't never felt this bad. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, this shit is slamming. Mm -hmm. It's like, this is a very complex soup. Like, this is difficult to make. I've never had this good of a soup, unless it was like in Chinatown at a noodle shop, but it's of that quality. Mm -hmm. If this was in New York, this would be like the new ramen. Seriously, this is delicious. Yo, this is my man Kirill, Young Fonsworth Bentley here with the umbrella. We're gonna meet some people from Kyrgyzstan today, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are Central Asian mm -hmm. immigrants, uh -huh. right? Sometimes illegal immigrants coming to the country yeah, 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 yeah. working in Russia because there's jobs here, not in Kyrgyzstan. How do people in Moscow feel about people from Kyrgyzstan? There are tensions between majority Russian people and them coming here, so yeah. their life isn't easy, but still, it's, it's better than Kyrgyzstan. It's like Mexican people in America. Yeah, yeah, especially like, we used to be one country, we used to be USSR. So it's weird that you break apart and then now they can't yeah. work with everybody yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. The restaurant we're going to, before we started shooting, these people were arguing, they're Kyrgyzstani people working at the restaurant. Apparently, they were underpaid and they're arguing with the owner here. So that's why they're staying out here. This is Sasha. Alexander. Nice to meet you, Eddie. So this is your friend from, from Kyrgyzstan? Yeah, yeah. And he has been living and working in Moscow since 2005. Nice. What, what are you uh, doing for work in Moscow? А что делаете? Чем занимаетесь? Ну, я работаю в ресторане. От посудомойщика до кладовщика поднялся, поваром работаю. Сейчас декоратором работаю я. He is constructor worker right now. How, how tough is it out here, like, in Moscow, for you to find jobs and things like that? Нет, если знаешь русский язык, не трудно. Если опыт есть, можно работать. Could we ask him what his living situation is like? Three, четыре человека. And it's one room apartment? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So three or four people in a one bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Я получаю зарплату, отправляю домой. This country is crazy, though. You see, we're at breakfast here in this restaurant around 11, and Everyone is just hammered. Everybody's three shots in a beer deep. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's yeah. what doctors say. I just took a dump in the Waka Flocka restaurant, took a nap in the van for a couple hours, and finally feel a little better. And we're gonna use the Russian subway to go. What are we doing? Uh, first, we are taking the longest escalator in the world, probably, <laughs> at least in Moscow city. Oh, okay. It's long enough, so you'll be able to take another nap. Yo, son, I was so fucked up this morning, I didn't even realize son was wearing a basket on his head all yeah. day. <laughs> it's a wooden baseball cap. Have you cap. been wearing this all day? Yeah. Yo, wooden baseball caps. Holla at your boy. You having fun? Well, thank you. Up. Russia. So, we are going to take a ride on the longest Escalator in the world. How do you feel about that? Wait, this is the fucking escalator you're talking about? Uh huh. I thought you were talking about like a fucking Cadillac Escalade, my G. This is so po pimpin, it's not even funny. Damn. Is this like a method of population control? Like people fall down? <laughs> oh. Man, it's depressing on the Russian subway. No smiles. Just sadness even the children they're like eight years old they look just destroyed it's okay, it's totally oh, okay. It's all good we have a little square you can see it on the wall this is straight like museum shit. that's gonna give you good luck rub the nose smell my finger it smells like a lock <laughs> it smells like a lock <laughs> smell that look so all these guys are like heroes of communist society. Some of them are workers, some of them are soldiers. See, like this dude, he looks like he's half fixing the road, half trying to take a shit, like. <laughs> In China, Stan, you were supposed to grow up like this. 
the farmer chicken lady. <laughs> The government, when they did it, it's like they yeah. want you to grow up to be a wor yeah, road worker. Yeah, yeah. This is the type of people they wanted. Fucking aspirational society, B. <laughs> people talking about, oh, like paying homage to the hood, paying homage to like minorities, paying homage to like the workers. You know what you, know what you could do is fucking pay these people. Fuck homage, pay us. It's my girl Elena Bergeron. Fresh off the boat with Eddie Wong. Riding with the door open in Moscow. Hi. Oh my God, look who it is. Look who this is. Do you know who this is? <laughs> the God. Man. Zamir. Yeah. The God. Welcome. Welcome. To Thank Wonderland. you. We have Kirill. We have Sasha. And we have Zamir, the God, Gada. No reservations <laughs> family. Uncle Tony, watch this episode with a sock on it. Okay? <laughs> Let's go. So, welcome to Wonderland. This is like miniature of the former Soviet Union. You could see the, you know, the landscape. You could, you could feel the atmosphere. So it's like, welcome to... This feels like the Soviet the Union. <laughs> now, people from all over the world would come over here to enjoy this Is this like a theme achievement. park? This is like a theme park. This is like more of a Soviet commercial. Disney like Soviet World? Expo. Now it's like oh. Soviet Expo, exactly. So it's make-believe we are still in the USSR. So, Soviet-era education. What was it like when you were in school? It was very strict. There was a lot of propaganda, like the whole world didn't exist. Stalin purges basically non-existing. I Meaning in the Soviet textbooks, which I was learning, there was nothing about the purges. Oh, wow. It was just like, you know, like it They kind of closed your mind off. They closed your mind off and, and tried to keep you more like in a narrow niche of very pro-Soviet propaganda. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm like more of a Soviet generation. I'm yeah. I'm curious to know how did you experience that situation? No, our like, education was pretty liberal. I mean, there was like no strong propaganda, pretty liberal and yeah. Just... What level of education did Sasha get in Kyrgyzstan? What level of education did you get in Kyrgyzstan? And what changed in the time? I have only a little bit of a little bit. If there is no money, it will be done. I am the oldest and the rest are the same. All the universities and institutes are closed. I will be 40 years old. I will be 40 years old. He said he wants to go to university around 40 years old. You should. Yeah, you definitely should. You should. You definitely should. So we are here now at the Kyrgyzstan Pavilion. And Kirill, what were you telling us about the Kyrgyzstan Pavilion? Those guys are probably the hardest working guys coming to Russia to work. And that's, it's like Kyrgyzstan community house basically in yeah. Moscow. And like many different Kyrgyz people who live in Moscow, who works in Moscow, who studies in Moscow, come yeah. here and have their traditional meals. Uh, images it seems like the whole pavilion right yeah. was created to create pride for people in the Soviet Union like propaganda style exactly like in the subway you definitely notice that images of happy pioneers yeah. happy workers the idea was that when people are in the subway and they go to work they need to focus how proud they should be about achievements. Maybe they didn't have enough food, maybe they didn't have enough money, but the country was doing the right thing. This is kind of an ingenious idea though, to create this Wonderland oh, no, pavilion no. for yeah, propaganda. No. You know, this is the funny thing. There's so much like Asian food in Russia, but no chopsticks. What's interesting about this is, it's minced bits of lamb that are steamed and it's tender in a very loose binder with onions. And again, super simple. All you taste in here is onion, a little bit of black pepper, and not much else, not much seasoning at all. The name 
name is Bill Barmak, and Bill Barmak literally means five fingers. Oh. It means you gotta eat it with your hand. So it comes from nomad culture when they didn't have forks and stuff. What they did is they, they basically made a consomme in soup with the lamb. Then they're serving you the meat that they made the consomme with. Then serving it atop very simple noodles that are almost like egg noodles or stroganoff noodles. Adding a little bit of the element of kefir for dairy. And then just onions and scallions. Very straightforward. Very much like a kori gamtang, uh, oxtail soup in Korean culture. You don't need much. You just let the animal speak. Mm. Yesterday when we ate shashlikum, the guy also went and got it from the Diagostin farm. It is the best lamb in the world I ever had. The best. No New Zealand stuff, no. The Big Lebowski is here. The final act, rice pilaw. Oh man, you know it's good. Sasha stood for the rice yeah. pilaw. Wow. 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 I, yeah. I'm sorry, oh we have God. to. My life. Oh, man. Tomato flour. Holy. Вот этот плов у нас национальное блюдо плов. Плов делается вот который мы объяснили, да, рис, рис узбекского риса. Вот такой плов только у нас кушают в Кыргызстане. Больше нигде нету. Рис ah. оно быстро испаривается в желудке, поэтому оно. So Sasha, is this to, in your mind is this the biggest dish in Kyrgyzstan cuisine? Да 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 да. Делают курдюком. Видите, это все красиво. Вот это возьмите курдюк. Он ничего не будет он. Awesome. It's got that cumin, it's got that lamb flavor. It's very deep with flavor, very good. I keep bringing up Uyghur and Xinjiang food because the Uyghur food really feels like a combination of Arabic and Chinese food, like those countries. And what we have here is almost a steamed fried rice, but with lamb and the steamed garlic, and the pickle is just genius. One medical observation, after that greasy kind of food like pilaf, you can't eat normal water because your digestion will be Impaired sort of thing, so chai, tea, tea yeah. is the only thing it's which... A, it's, it's another big tradition. Yeah, this is the way that Kyrgyz pour tea. They pour it out and then pour it back in three times. And if you saw our Taiwan episode, we saw the tea ceremony there too. I really like to see all the different ways that people serve tea. And you'll see, he serves everybody first with his right hand. And look, he doesn't fill your cup up. If he fills your cup all the way up, it's like saying to you, he doesn't want to come back and refill. <laughs> If he pours just so, a little, Rahmat. it means he wants to continue to serve you tea. Nazdarovia. Nazdarovia. And yeah. how do you say cheers in Kyrgyzstan? Nazdarovia. Uh, Kak Kyrgyzstan? Dien Solok. Dien Solok. Dien Solok. Dien Solok. Okay? Thank you, guys. Like everyone says, I'm not the first one to say it, I won't be the last one to say it, the idea of everybody sharing and everybody having, it's a beautiful idea. The, I think it's a very simple thing though. We have enough in the world to go around. There's plenty of food to go around. What makes me so upset about the statues is people always paying homage to the working class. You know, we put Sasha on the show, but when are we gonna start putting money in his pocket, you know? When, when are we actually going to treat them like they deserve to be treated? To the workers and peasants. To okay. the workers and peasants. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sasha, you know what you gotta say to the workers and peasants? Fuck you, pay me. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Man. Yes! Freedom to Kyrgyz people. Yes, if there's one thing America can teach you, it That's is the phrase, fuck you, pay me. Next up on Fresh Off The Boat. Oh, Y'all motherfuckers didn't cast me in the first five Fast and the Furious movies. But here we go, Asian Vin Diesel. Straight all red lights. Полицейские на нас полная договоренность, потому что они нас особо не трогают. Пошел штаны сушить. 